Okay. Okay, I'm going to be using uh, version 4.11 of Shortcuts Lot. And we're going to do a little demo on the duplicate rotated uh, feature. And I'm going to go up to the library and I'm going to bring in a heart and a diamond and a circle. And I'm just going to move aside the circle and the diamond for now. Increase this a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Object and Duplicate Rotated. And I'm going to make a total of 10 copies of my heart. And I'm going to leave it at clockwise for the direction, and I'm going to leave it at evenly. And I'm going to rotate the horizontal at, do it about two, two inches. And then what I'm going to do is click on Group Duplicate, and then OK. And when you click on Group Duplicate, what that does is you'll be able to move the whole uh, section of parts as one. Okay. And next we're going to work with the diamond. And I'm going to resize that. And let me move my screen over a little bit. I'm going to resize that at, oh, let me go back. I'm going to check uh, key proportions. I'm going to resize that at about 561. Then I'm going to go to object and duplicate rotated. And that I'm going to make and do four copies of that. Again, keeping it a clockwise and evenly. And that I'm going to do, I think we'll do about 40. And then I'm going to click on Group Duplicate and click OK. And I'm going to bring that in the center. Okay, next we're going to work with the circle. Again, I'm going to resize that at, let's see, I'm going to do a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll do it around 200. 242. a little bit big. Okay. And I think I will make I'll do about 12 copies of that. Again, keeping it clockwise and evenly. And let's see. It looks a little bit too big. I'm going to go to one, 110 and click OK. And I'm going to move that to the center. And I'm going to select all. Okay. And I'm going to center them to each other. Oh. Hang on. I might have. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to do a shadow. I'm going to go right click, go to appearance, and add a shadow layer. Okay. 
I'm going to do shadow rounded. And let me move that out of the way. I'm going to do 30, and then I'm going to do blackout. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, some of the blackout didn't take effect. So what I'm going to do is lock all these layers. Click on the shadow layer. I'm going to go to Object and Break Apart. Okay. And I'm going to click on the shadow layer. And I'm going to click on this little arrow right here. Scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to go to Arrange. And I'm going to move that layer to the top. Okay. Scroll back up. And I'm going to move the layer up to the top above the folder. And I'm going to click on the shadow layer and delete all those. Okay. And I'm going to change that to red. Okay. And I'm going to move my layer to the bottom. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is click on this layer and we're going to do another shadow. Go to Appearance and add shadow layer. Okay, and I'm going to lock the bottom layer here, and I'm going to click on the shadow up here. And we're going to go to Effects, and I think I'm going to do uh, Rhinestones. And I'm going to click on the Circle Gem Rhinestone, and let's see, we'll do a... do stone at about 10 and I'm going to leave the stone size at 280 and the spacing at 2. Move this over to the side and you can click on the preview button and you get a preview of what that looks like and that looks like about good right there. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to unlock the red layer and we have the gray layer and the red layer unlocked. I'm going to select all. And then I'm going to go to object and merge. And I'm going to move that layer to the bottom. Oops. And I'm going to color that once again with the dark red. Okay, now I'm going to lock this layer. And I'm going to unlock the circles and the diamond. I'm going to select all. And then I'm going to do a copy. And paste in place. And I'm going to lock the original layers. And then I'm going to select all. And we will go to appearance and add a shadow. Okay, for this shadow, I think let's do a blackout again. Move this out of the way. I'm going to try 17. And I'm going to do shadow rounded. And click OK. And I'm going to lock these layers again. Click on the shadow layer. 
I'm going to go to object and break apart. Again, I'm going to click on the arrow and you'll see all the little specks that are broken apart. And I'm going to move that to the top. Scroll up. And I'm going to move that up to the top layer. I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to delete. And I'm going to unlock these layers here. I'm going to select all. I'm going to go back up to mer object and we're going to merge. And I'm just going to move that over to the side. And I think I'll color that red as well. And that's just a basic demo of what you can do with the um, duplicate rotated. And if you continue to use uh, shadow layers and joining the different layers together, um, you're able to create different um, effects using that. You can use these for little doilies or you can add another shadow layer to the, this and create a, uh, a different color shadow in the back and you'll be able to see the uh, different colors in the back. Let me see, I'll do another shadow here. Okay. We'll do that as a blackout as well. And we'll click OK. And let's change this to do that a white. 